Okay folks, Suburban Cowgirl here. Uh, another video I wanted to do on the P238 is involving a method of carry. Um, this is a very small gun and can be used in a lot of different ways whether you wanted to use uh, the belly band style or the Thunder Wear is another kind of version of that. Um, she fits great in my Undertech tank top which has the, uh, the holster pockets on either side underneath each arm. Um, sometimes you don't want it to be in a belly band or in, you know, underneath your arm. It's a little harder to get it out of either one of those things. So SIG does send you with some of these kits, they do send you an option, uh, which is just, you know, a basic on the waistband holster. Um, now you can use this and it's perfectly functional, be perfectly fine to use it as such. I don't, I'm not a real big fan of the plastic holsters, the, the heavy duty, you know, bent plastic. They just, they don't draw nearly as well as, you know, a holster that was custom made out of leather or, uh, you know, a hybrid. So that does come with that and you could use it if you needed to. Um, the first thing that I went out and grabbed just because it was available, it was easy and uh, inexpensive, I think they're like 28 bucks, um, are the Remora holsters. So this has got a real sticky outside. Uh, it's meant to either be carried in the pocket, in which case between the ears and the texturing on the outside, it's meant to stick in your pocket so that when you draw the gun out, this stays in the pocket. It's also great for on the waistband, uh, assuming that you're wearing pants or shorts or a skirt that will provide some pressure on either side of it. If it's real loose, it won't work. But um, like sweatpants that have a tie or scrubs or a skirt that maybe doesn't have uh, loops for a belt, this is a great option. Uh, it does, I have carried it like this um, when working around the house, when doing, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and unless you jostle it really well and you've got a loose waistband on it, it will hold it in there. So that's the way she fits in. This one is the 2ART which means it's got the slimmer cut down through here um, and it does have, uh, doesn't have the extended sweat guard that comes up because that just kind of gets in the way when you're trying to draw and this is a small enough pistol anyway, I didn't want to have that problem. So um, it just slides right in and out. It's not, you know, exactly what you would call like a click when you slide it in. You can just feel that it hits the end there and this mouth doesn't collapse. It's not overly reinforced, so you will have to open it with your fingers if you go to reholster, but at least that option is there for you. Um, and she fits in just fine, as long as she doesn't have the laser on the front of her. This is what I discovered when I brought this home. Uh, the husband's going to do a video here in just a little bit and show you how the laser goes on. But basically, this little space that's right here, if that were not sewn shut, it would fit just fine. And I think that one... There's another designation for that. It's still two, but I don't remember what the, the letters were after it. Um, if that was open, it would fit with the SIG laser just fine. But as it is sewn shut, it's meant to be used without any sort of laser or light or anything like that. So um, you can still stick her in there with the laser, but you don't get nearly as good of a fit. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, you know, on a long-term basis. But that's a good option for you if you just want to go, you know, to your local gun shop and pick up something quick. Um, to get you through until you order a custom holster or whatever. So that one is from Remora. I do have another one of these for uh, it fits the wall three and the 9C that I have. And they are great little holsters. They, they do their job very, very well. So um, that's all for that. We're going to go ahead and let the husband uh, show you exactly what this P238 is all about. So we will see you in a little bit. Bye.